So in this video, I'm going to be using AI and other tools to help me find YouTube video ideas for the next 30 to 60 days. So let's go ahead and look at some topics that I can find. And then you're going to be going along this journey with me. So it's going to be a really interesting and very messy video. But let's go ahead and jump in and get started on finding YouTube video topics. So I will be using a Google Sheet for this example video. And I'm going to be, again, very messy with this entire process because I like to go back and forth with my research. So the first one we're going to do is getting ideas from other videos that I've already created or even my competitors and then remaking them and making them 100% unique with different talking points. So right now I'm looking at my channel and I'm currently posting Monday through Friday just to challenge myself and get better at YouTube and also just getting better at talking a lot faster and just being able to show people tutorial based videos and get better at presenting topics. One of the videos that I really liked was I beat Google's algorithm with YouTube SEO. Here's what I did. It's been about five days. It's got almost 500 views. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab a share link. Then we're going to jump into YouTube transcript.com. We're going to enter the URL and then we're going to copy entire transcript. So let's go ahead and jump into Claude. And I'm also going to show you guys an example of chat GPT, but I use a very, very simple prompt. So this is what I'm going to say. All right. So the prompt is based on my YouTube transcript and video topic. Give me 15 insanely viral and 100% unique angle YouTube video ideas. Then I add the transcript and the topic and I do the exact same thing for this chat GPT prompt. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Okay, so <laughs> we got some really good ideas here and I can continue fine tuning this prompt or asking it more questions to gather more YouTube video ideas. And some of the ones I already see here that I like is I use AI to crack the YouTube algorithm. Here's what I discovered. That to me is an insane video. And from here, I can grab you talking points and create a script from that. AI tools that will sk skyrocket your YouTube SEO results. There's a bunch of AI tools that I could promote that help with YouTube SEO. And uh, another one is how to find untapped video topics that are guaranteed to rank on Google. So these are like 100% unique angles, but kind of around the same topic that I can create videos on. And this is perfect for my channel. So I'm going to go ahead and save some of these already that I like and add it to my spreadsheet. So I like this topic here. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my spreadsheet. This one's actually pretty good too, because there's a really good affiliate product that I can promote, which is called Taja AI for the YouTube description hack that increased my Google traffic by 500%. I'm going to add that into my spreadsheet and I'm going to keep on doing this until I find about, you know, 15 to 20 or even a whole month's worth of content. And I can continue doing this over and over again. So this is another good one, a how to, how to create YouTube video ideas that Google loves using AI SEO. So that one's good. And even though I'm not really looking at other competitors just based on this AI tool, the reason why I know that this could potentially work is because I already created a video that is somewhat doing well. After five days of posting it, it has almost 500 views and it's continuing to grow day by day. So I know that if I create something similar to this topic, it's going to do somewhat as good as well. So if I want to keep adding to this prompt here, I can go ahead and add another prompt idea. All right. So I said this, th these are great. Now give me 15 more viral and unique topics, but it doesn't have to be related to YouTube SEO. It can be broader within my niche. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that now and see what happens. All right. So I'm starting to really like these. I have one that says I automated 90% of my business using these AI tools, a full walkthrough. So I could really just make a video on different AI tools that I'm using to truly automate my business. There's another one for, I outsource my entire content creation process to AI. Here are my results, how I use AI to predict my audience's biggest pain points and create the perfect offer, the email marketing hack that skyrocketed my open rates. And guys, there's just so many different topics here. How I leverage ChatGPT to build a six figure freelance business from scratch. I can use these. I can also tweak them and I can say, Hey, make them more related to SEO and see what happens. So let's just go ahead and add that in here. Cool. So I said, now make these related to SEO and it's going to give us 15 more viral and unique topics that I can continue saving onto my spreadsheet. So this one is insanely good. How I leverage chat GPT to create highly linkable content assets. There is a way to like create linkable posts using chat GPT, like creating calculators or HTML scripts and things like that. So I can definitely use that for a video topic. 
So these are good. I'm also liking the unconventional approach to eat that boosted my site's credibility. It's like, this is really good. Like I can continue doing this over and over again. And that was just from one video topic. I can go back to my channel or maybe I can go even go to a competitor's channel and make more video ideas using AI. So I can go to Surfer AI tutorial. I can use my prompt engineering course video to gather more information or new unique topics. And just using that Claude process is insanely powerful if you're stuck with video topic ideas, especially for someone like me who's doing Monday through Friday to give myself a challenge. You guys can use the same prompts and ideas as well. And I'll make sure that I leave those in the description below for you completely for free. All right, so the next thing that I do when it comes to finding unique video ideas for YouTube is using oneof10.com. So they do have a free Chrome extension, which allows you to manually swift through channels where you would have to go through your competitors' channels and then use the Chrome extension to find ideas. Or if you're on their paid plan, you can just use their dashboard and use their filtering options to find unique video topics, whether it's in your niche or just for title inspiration. You can go ahead and start using their filters, but just a quick overview, you can add in any categories in your niche or let's say you have like clients that you help with video topics, you can add their categories or industry here. You can also bookmark channels or you can even track videos or channels. So you wanna make sure that you're using the filters correctly, but basically, what one of 10 does is usually what it does, it's fi it finds outlier video ideas from your competitors channels where they have a higher view count on one video compared to the rest of their videos on their channel. So you wanna multiply those view counts based on these filters. So just for the making of this video, I'm, I usually do three X multiple to the infinite. Then I wanna make sure that it has some kind of views. So I do 2000 and above. And subscribers, I want to try to keep it low, like at least below 150,000 or even 100,000. Uh, you could even go lower than that, depending on the niche. And then I'm going to go for the last six months. So I'm going to apply these changes and then I'm going to see like really weird and interesting video topics that are currently going viral. But I'm going to go ahead and put in my niche or a broad niche. So I'm going to put in social media. So all of these videos are kind of like outlier content. So what you want to do is you just want to grab inspiration from you do not want to copy exactly. So here I'm saying the deadly influence of social media. I could probably make a video on the deadly influence of Google's algorithm or the deadly influence of YouTube creators, the deadly influence of scammers. Social media is tricking artists to waste time. Google is tricking SEOs to waste their time, vice versa. So I can go ahead and save those into my spreadsheet and I can say the deadly influence of SEO, the deadly influence of YouTube. And I like those ideas. I can keep on looking. If I want to dig deeper, I can even go to similar topics and then I can see what other videos that are similar to that. So there's another one that says, what to do after you quit scrolling. Maybe I can make a video on what to do after you quit Google or what to do after you quit SEO. That could actually be a really good video topic. Cool. So that is not bad at all. And you can take your time. Like literally you should probably be spending about two to three days doing your research, um, especially with the AI trick and also using one of 10.com. Um, so let's go ahead and just do another niche here. So one of my channels is for credit repair. I can do a topic on credit repair and here I can continue moving forward, but this is just an example using one of 10.com. So I'm saying here, a credit card company underwriter gives advice. Maybe I can do a video on credit repair owner gives advice on how to build credit and keep repeating this process. But these are really good videos. Do this to keep a high FICO score. Maybe I can make a video saying do this to keep a high credit score or something like that. So that's just one example of how to use one of 10.com. Um, it's really, really powerful, but just keep on doing this over and over again. And you should be able to find really good videos. All right, so another way I find video topics is using Glimpse, and that is another pay tool. Uh, they do have a freemium product where you can get 10 searches free every month, and that should actually get you a few ideas. But really, this is a great tool to find trends before they go viral. And this is built on top of Google Trends, which I really enjoy. So here you can really type in any seed keyword. So that could be like AI or let's say you're in the 
cooking niche that could be keto or you know some kind of diet so you can add in whatever seed keyword you want and let's say for me since i'm building my content plan right now i can put in something like ai content and then put in that search and what it's going to do is not only tell me the monthly search volume for the seed keyword but at the very bottom you're going to have a people also search section this is what gives me an insane amount of unique topics to write about or make videos on and you could do this for any single niche, which I'm gonna show you as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and look for some ideas around my channel first. Okay, cool, so we have some people also search questions. Usually you can filter this from YouTube or to Google, but really I just stick with Google's entire tab here. It's almost very similar anyways, but here you can see that we have these seed keywords. We have uh, AI content moderation, so maybe I can make a video on AI content moderation. We have another one for how to humanize AI content. So I think I like that one as well because I've seen it popping off recently. So I can make a video on how to humanize AI content. Maybe I can make another video on how to become an AI content creator, uh, AI content generation. And I can keep on scrolling through here. I can also download a CSV file and save it for my uh, list of like items to check. So we have a bunch of different things here. AI content brief generator. And you can see, like, really just manually grab this keyword and then go to YouTube and see if there's anyone creating content around this. So just go ahead and plug this in and see if there's any competition. Cool. So we have one here from a company, uh, Content Brief Generated by AI. We have a personal brand, John. He did something with AI SEO Content Brief process. Not that many views, but it's also only two months old. Um, if you have, like, vidIQ or TubeBuddy, you can go ahead and see whether the overall score is difficult, um, how much volume it's getting, and whether the competition is low or high. But you can see that there's not a lot of competition yet, so I could probably have this in my list of ideas and go ahead and save that. So I'll, I'll, add, I'll add that in here into my Google Sheet. So that is 10 ideas already. But again, I'm just going very quickly over this. Um, I probably, if I'm spending a lot of time, I'm usually doing about 20 to 30 video topics and moving forward. So let's go ahead and just use a random video topic or niche so you guys don't have to just see marketing. And let's go ahead and put in pickleball. So as you know, in the United States, pickleball is becoming like a really big sport or trend. So here you can find so many unique ideas in the pickleball niche. So if we scroll down to people also search, we'll have a ton of different unique topics here. We'll have pickleball courts, pickleball paddles, pickleball gifts. So you can make a lot of affiliate videos or partners with sponsors. Uh, we have questions. So there's some like how to serve in pickleball. Why is it called pickleball? You can make a ton of different video topics here and uh, and save those. Will pickleball be in the Olympics? What are the rules of pickleball? So you can make video topics like that and think of really unique video titles. But yeah, just this is really, I mean, it, it, it feels like it's difficult, but it's honestly, uh, it gets easier as you continue doing research. And these are the three ways I really focus on finding YouTube video ideas on top of just manually thinking or using my own brain to think of ideas for YouTube videos, uh, whether I'm walking, uh, cooking or watching TV or just taking a break. Um, I also just use my own mind to think about ideas that might benefit my audience. But overall, you should be able to do the same for your own channel. Let me know if any of these were really good ideas for you or kind of open up an, a sparked an idea. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop those in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about AI blogging or just any YouTube video topic scripts, I can go ahead and leave that up here. You can watch that next. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.